what I'm trying to understand is why did people build a part of their urban landscape in a place that we know of as a swamp? So ultimately my question is what were environmental conditions like whenever they decided to build this mountain plaza group? We can really see the difference between two different types of construction methods. Um, the first one that's a little bit lower is called basket loading. Um, and this is like the classic idealized um, way of mount construction where they just take a woven basket that they'll carry like a, like a backpack and they'll put the dirt and they'll just come and they'll bring it and they'll just dump it out and walk away. Um, and that's how they originally started building what we think is a platform. So that forms the base of underneath the mound and the base of all the construction. But above it, they use a different type of soil a soil that has more silt and sand. And what they're doing is something that we call um, stratiforming, where they're actually taking their basket of soil and they're, they're spreading out the soil and they're shaping it instead of just dumping it in one place and walking away. We have these really like larger regional data sets um, that tell us something about what the environment was like um, during kind of this period when we expect people to be planning their, the layout of this site. However, those environmental conditions say that it was the wettest 50-year period um, in the past millennium. So why would people be building this in a swamp? Or is it just that you know our regional data sets aren't localized enough to understand what was happening at this particular site? Or is it that our understanding of the chronology and when people were actually building and laying out this site is wrong? So we really need to answer you know kind of two main questions. What is the chronology? Um, of this one particular part of the site and what were environmental conditions like in the past and how did they change through time.